Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. My name is Acacia. Today we're going to be doing a book review for The Boy Detective Fails by Joe Mino. Now this book was a five-star read for me. Joe Mino is now a wonderful author that I will be following very much and I am super stoked about it. The Boy Detective Fails is a heartbreaking little book about a young child who has who receives a detective kit for his birthday. His sister and his best friend be become detectives around their little town and they are better at it than the police in their town. So they are getting all this publicity and the mayor is a little embarrassed because his police aren't doing as well as a child. His sister decides she no longer wants to be the sidekick and the two of them kind of get into a riff for a while and then they come back together and it's fine. I'm not giving any spoilers. This is happening in the first chapter. So the boy detective grows up, he goes to college, and his sister is left behind. So things start to get a little awful for the family back home and for his sister and he finds out later that unfortunately his sister passes and everything kind of de-escalates from there and he gets put into a mental hospital and things just spiral out of control. And where the story really takes off is he is now being let out of the mental hospital after many years and he is in his 30s and he is going to a halfway house for people with mental illness where he is now still required to go to his therapist but he can hold a regular job and he can pay rent and things like that and just kind of live on his own but he's still under supervision. That is where the story begins. That is where things kind of take off and it gets kind of interesting. Now I have to admit when I first started reading this I was a little bit hesitant because I thought it was going to be more YA than it was. It is not YA. It does not feel YA by the end. You're... I... oh... I loved this book so much. So this was sent to me for review by Aikens Publishing um, or Punk Book Planet, Punk Planet Books. I was lucky enough to be sent this for review. I had been wandering through the Goodreads world trying to find something new and, and I stumbled across a way to find out what authors are similar to what authors. And I can't remember for the life of me how to do it again, but whatever. So it recommended a bunch of authors that were similar to authors that I enjoyed and I just started clicking through. And and I went through quite a few different authors and I think six of them had Joe Mino in common. So I was like, all right, I will try this. So I wasn't really sure. I've never seen a Joe Mino book in my local bookshop or library. So I was not really sure where to begin with this or what it had to do with anything. So I wrote the, so I tracked down where the publisher was who published Joe's books and I wrote them a letter and I asked them after doing some research, I decided this was the book to start with and I wrote them and told them my thoughts and how I discovered Joe and where I wanted to go with the reading and why I picked him as an author. And they were so sweet and said, absolutely, we will send you a copy of that book immediately. And as soon as they did, I started to devour it. I was really fast into reading it and got into it so fast. And then by the time I went to Brookline Booksmith in the beginning of this month, I was already halfway through this book and I was so in love with the writing style that I picked up another one of his books called Hairstyles of the Damned. And I am very excited to continue with his work. This book in and of itself was a five star read for me. I hope that his other books hold up to this, but if they don't, I understand and I will be forgiving, but I really want all of them to be this good. This book is not for everyone. It's kind of experimental in the way that it writes and the verbiage is not really the most lovely thing you've ever read. I can't really say that it sounds lyrical or phenomenal or anything to that extent, but it's fun and it's easy. And the other thing is that the words are put together in odd little mixtures. Like it's actually written in a very odd way. It's kind of written very odd like the characters in a matter of fact is I almost feel like the book itself was a character, almost like the narrator was a character in and of itself but you never saw him and never really knew what was happening. So I felt very pleased with this book and by the end of it I was in tears and super happy and just weirded out and not in a bad way but like in a oh I, I didn't even know that that was a thing. So I highly recommend this book to anybody who likes a little more experimental kind of underhyped weird quirky books that really don't get much attention. I think Joe Mino in general is an author for somebody who enjoys that type of book. If you're not sure about this one, um, talking about mental illness and death and all that other stuff, he has other books that are definitely a lot less dark and you can absolutely go check those out and I will 
highly recommend any book that Jomino writes because the writing style is so unique. All right, guys, this has been my little review and wrap up of The Boy Detective Fails, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.